In this video, we're working on the Honda GX120. It has a low oil level sensor on it. What happens is someone has bypassed it. I got a new switch here. So we're gonna have a look at the wiring diagrams. So if you ever have an issue that your low oil sensor is faulty, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna be able to bypass that, keep your engine running, and we're also gonna hook up this new one and do some testing. Maybe that sensor is faulty. Maybe that's why it has been bypassed. That's something we're about to find out. So let's have a look. So you can see right here on my engine, my on off switch here, and it is bypassed directly to the coil where it should come. Your low oil sender is right here. Comes up to the oil alert unit, which is up top here. This here wire would plug into here and then this wire plugs into this one. So if you ever need to bypass it, obviously you would just take the one from the coil and plug it into your switch here. As you can see in the diagram, that makes it a little bit more clear. And then, but if you look at this one here, okay, you got the switch that's grounded. And this switch is internally grounded. This one here is an outside ground because it's an aftermarket one. And you can see right here how it's going to be connected. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's start popping this old one out and we'll start installing the new one. So now we need to disconnect the wire for sure and then get underneath. These get pretty brittle after time. So the old switch just pops out. And we're going to pop the new one in. Just like that. Now this ground, the best place for this ground is in this screw right there. So that's what we're going to do. That's pretty simple how this pigtail is going to work. This one's going to plug into here. And then this one is going to plug into there. Then we're going to see if we have spark. Pretty straightforward. Plug that one into there. As so, then take this one. They're male, female, so you really can't screw them up. And I showed you the diagram earlier. So now we're going to test for spark. All right. I crank it over. See it spark there. So we know the oil level sender is working. Okay, I'm going to end the video there. I'm not really sure why the previous owner disconnected the low oil level sender. You know, it seems to be working. The engine runs with it in. Why they did it, I'm not exactly sure. So, that's kind of hoping something would be wrong so we could troubleshoot it. But anyways, I'm going to end the video there. If you ever have So if you have one of these engines that has that low oil sender on it that could kill your engine, you know how to bypass it now and get your engine running that way you're not left stranded somewhere if you're out pumping water, whatever it is your engine's doing. Anyways, I'm going to get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.